So what is a digital twin? So digital twin is basically a digital model of a physical asset or a process. Primarily what that is, it's a, it's a computer model. Yes, so it is not only for engines, assets, physical assets, it can be for people, it can be for manufacturing processes. So these are models that give you insight on what decisions are the best to take. That's what we're really doing through the digital models. It's actually an integ integration of hardware and software, physics and machine learning. These all have to come together to make the key uh, decisions that are needed uh, for our customers. So how is it Internet of Things? You have to connect these devices. You have to collect this data to feed it to the digital twin. How is it physics and AI? It learns from the data, massive amounts of data. Only machines can do that. Humans have very difficult time learning from terabytes of data. But it has to use the physics on which we designed our equipment, like the Brayton cycles that we use to design our jet engines, for example. So it brings all of this together to deliver the outcome. The focus is the outcome. How can we better drive productivity for our customers? So what, what really happens is whenever we go to a customer and you say, hey, your plant is having a trouble and uh, it's got performance loss, you got to shut it down. Now, this is a million dollar kind of a question, right? If you shut it down, you will lose three days, five days, ten days of time. A customer can lose several hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. So causation, uh, correlation says, I see correlations in the data and it comes from machine learning, right? You correlate saying temperature is very high and hence I see a problem. Now you're telling me the same information and giving me a decision on what I should do differently. It's easier for the customer. Just giving correlations, customers have a very tough time making that billion, uh, million dollar decision. And the way we are doing that is two things. First is taking all these digital twins and building templates of them. So if I've solved a problem already for a jet engine or for a wind turbine or a, a MRI machine, I create a template of it and make it available for the rest of the customer so they can use it much faster. The second way you do this is Predix, a cloud-based platform. You put it out there, many, many people can use it. So how do you really do that? Basically, it's see, think, do. So see is primarily about collection of data. You got to be able to see, it's garbage in, garbage out. If you don't get the right data, you can't make the right decision. See, think. Think is about analytics, predictive analytics. So basically, use that data, build this digital twin models, these models can drive insights. They give you insights saying this specific machine is behaving differently. So understanding these differences in a predictive manner, the do portion of it is now that you got an insight saying this machine is behaving differently than this machine, you got to do something differently. It could be a maintenance action. It could be a control action. You control the machine differently. You can maintain it differently. You may change the loading profile of it. You, you load it less versus the other machine can take more load. So C is data. Think is analytics, and do is the action that will get me the bottom line impact. So the way we think about digital twins, uh, we talked about four kinds of uh, digital twins. Parts, uh, machines, processes, and systems. Actually, it depends on the outcome customer wants. So each of these twins that we talked about primarily depends on the outcome customer wants. More and more countries want better living for their people. So basically we need to be more efficient in using our resources. Be it gas, be it wind, be it healthcare. Using the same resources you got to do more. And to drive that efficiency, you use digital technologies. So you're using digital technologies as a means to manage the renewables and that causes less trouble for the established coal plants or, or uh, gas turbines and so on. This also enables us to adopt more renewables because if renewables cause me a lot of trouble I'm going to shut them down but with digital technologies they become more predictable. Once they become more predictable I can actually increase the penetration of uh, renewables in a, in a country like Indonesia. So that is the power of digital to, to transform uh, the ratio in a predictable manner.
Yes, so cost, efficiency are very, very important uh, for everybody these days. Digital technologies is enabling everybody to reinvent the business model, right? So you're able to take the same resources or fewer resources and achieve a far bigger impact. The business has become more profitable, either the top line grows or bottom line uh, cost uh, shrinks, and thereby they become more profitable.